Join in the helpline is food and lifestyle expert Alejandra Ramos. Hi. You here. Welcome. I'm so excited to be here. Tell us what you're making here today, Alejandra. <laughs> All right, so today we are making pineapple habanero pulled chicken in the Ooh. slow cooker. Yes. What do you yes. think? Yes. I see it's all the slow cooker. Oh, yes. It's summer. It's huge. All right, get us started. Where all are we right. going? So we're starting off. We've got five pounds of boneless, skinless chicken thighs here. It's a must. If you prefer, thighs. Yeah, if you prefer chicken breasts, oh. you can, or you can even do a mix of both. Get those all in there. I mean, and this is really much like a dump it all in the bowl and get going. So I put that in there, some chopped onions. I would love some sliced avocado and then just some wedges because we're going to do a DOI sandwich bar afterwards. Ooh. So yeah, we're putting this, putting this chicken to good use. So I'm putting some frozen pineapple here. You can use fresh or canned if you prefer. Some fresh lime juice. And here is our, of course, our special ingredient. We've got the habanero. 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 <laughs> <laughs> what was that you added? The, I, so I added some garlic cloves. I did about five, honestly. If I were at home, I probably would have been like 12, 10. 12. You know, just up it up. Uh, cumin. Mm. Little smoked Spanish paprika. Love that smoke. Hey. Wow, wow, wow. Little black pepper. Boop, boop, boop. Some salt, of course. Nasty. <laughs> Sorry. Just going through it. I like you in my kitchen. Yeah, or I guess I'm in your no, kitchen. No, it's very short time. That's why you're And then some, <laughs> some crushed tomatoes. Wow. Slow cookers are so amazing in the summer because they don't heat up the kitchen. Boom. You can put it, you know, you do it in advance. You can make this three days in advance. Did you throw some bay leaves in there? I, oh, I added three bay leaves. This goes for about three, four hours. Uh, just wait until, like, the chicken kind of starts to fall apart. And then I'll show you what we got going on wow. here. I want you to see how quickly and easily this just shreds. You just use the two forks. It just breaks apart really simple. And then you can just mix that back into your sauce. And then at the end, I love to do a little bit of cilantro, or a lot of bit of cilantro. Oh my, you do add it. that all in your shower. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> do it. It adds color, cilantro. it adds brightness. We're gonna put this over here. Just start off oh, with your chicken. It's right healthy. Now. That with avocado is beautiful. beautiful. Colorful. I love a little red cabbage on there. So do I. Look at that. You know, this looks like a watermelon <laughs> rad radish, beautiful. doesn't the plate? A little bit, yeah. yeah. A little oh, bit Jeff. of a sour Look cream on top. Oh, man. Genius. This is going to be so good. I want some of that cotija. You on even like, too. plated that avocado beautifully. Mm -hmm. like, what I do. My goodness, man. Do you like the cilantro? Oh, yeah. Good. All right, we're going to have it. going to shower that in. And then you can even squeeze a little lime on top. What do you think? Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. it, that is it. gorgeous. A little bit of cotija I cheese. did squeeze some lime on the avocados to keep them from, uh, you know, oxidizing good, and stuff. Good, good. So I... So what do you think? Does everybody see Does everybody see this? See this? It's real food, food guys. Yeah. It's real food made by a real human. Dare I say it's like a taco sandwich? Oh, yeah. And it's yes. key that you use the thighs <laughs> instead of just breast. So much it's flavor. so much chicken flavor and succulents in there. You didn't need any additional fat because mm -hmm. there's enough, you know, beautiful richness and fat from the chicken thighs in this little blast of the pineapple. Cotilla cheese is a must. Oh. Your cheese, you got to have I mean, it has sandwich. a lovely little salty and bite, great. especially with the sweet pineapple. Yeah. And, I mean, the avocado came to the party. Uh, you're ready I mean, that rage. avocado definitely came to the And just want to say, if you want to put out tortillas, this Ooh. is a great option. If you've got, would you like some? If you've got friends who are gluten-free, put out some corn tortillas. That's a really easy way to make it so everybody can enjoy. Oh. Amen to that. Oh. All right. Easy, right? Alejandra, thank wow. you so much. Yay. Yay. <laughs>